the, to sanitize this country. Okay. All right, then. Uh, let's go to our next story. You know, the debate over local government autonomy may not be a winnable one, but when one power is persuaded on the subject, then all hope is not lost. Kwara State Governor, you understand, Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak, has thrown his weight behind local government autonomy. According to him, it will reduce the burden on states. So who, again, is on the yes side, Ebeka? Well, uh, <clears throat> the matter is before the Supreme Court, so I don't want to double into the merits of the case. Okay. But just talking generally you yeah. know, about local government administration, I know successive governments, you know, uh, some have tried to uh, deal with the issue of local government. You know, then we now got the 1999 constitution, you know. Uh, okay, under Babangida, Babangida was interested in making local governments, you know, autonomous and vibrant. But we now got the 1999 constitution, and it became ambiguous. First of all, we have the Federation of Nigeria. <clears throat> then you have the 36 states as federating units, subnationals. You now went to Section 7 of the constitution and said that local governments, yes, they shall be there, they shall do this and that. But you put a lacuna there, that they shall be under the states. So, is this, again, is this... Deliberate. Well, or you you think? Well, I think the the framers of that constitution did mm. not envisage that there might be issues because uh, it, they had enough information in Mecca, to yes, guide them. Yes, going ago, from the bar, you know, coming ago, from local governments were autonomous in this country under the military. Mm. The issue is this: I believe that it's more of a constitutional issue than a judicial issue. But let's see what is today. Well, somebody had told you. Somebody had told you, and I, I hope you remember. Our problem is not constitutional, but attitudinal. No, yes, the attitude towards the constitution. Mm. Because if you, you like, if you like, you can review the constitution one thousand times every year. But it's human beings that are still going to implement it, and it's as simple as the constitution guarantees. You know what? List what the government should do and what the citizens themselves should do. So, if the citizens are expecting the government to do ABC, the citizens themselves should also be ready to, you know, to also carry out their own responsibilities. And in the issue of local government, basically, we need a vibrant system at the local government. All right. Because you see, almost every problem in Nigeria is blamed on the federal government. Food prices are high. It's present in Ubu. Um, people cannot get money to, to marry. You know, it's present in Ubu. People cannot get money to pay their children's school fees. It's present in Ubu. But if you look at it in reality, all politics is local. Mm. Problems are local. Yes. You start from your immediate constituency, which is the home. Yeah. And where is the home? It's in the local government. Yeah. So, if the local governments are made vibrant, whether they are going to be autonomous or whether they are going to be under the states. But the point is that, for instance, in agriculture, if food prices are high, it should be, it, it should be corrected at the local government because yeah. you don't have federal farmers. You have a federal minister of agriculture, but there's nobody who will come out and say, I'm a federal farmer. I'm farming on <laughs> federal government farm. <laughs> Everything is local. So it is to the extent that I believe that, you see, I, 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 I don't know, but I hope this matter will be settled out of court. Once and for all time. No, not just the Supreme Court, but out of court. Yeah. And which is that? Why? Okay, fine, states. If you agree that states should control, but the state governors themselves, if they were not handling local government funds in such a way that, Nigeria, that the, the poverty in Nigeria has got so bad, let me tell you, it wouldn't matter whether it's states or that are controlling local governments, or they are autonomous. It's all about the people are hungry. And development must get to the grassroots yeah. through the local governments. Okay. Uh, Ibn Abba, we, before we came on air, uh, we broke the subject, you know, Emeka and I. And uh, I said, food, prices of food stock going up can be arrested at the local government level. Definitely. We are the farmers. We have to resist this in Nigeria. And the seventh one, maybe, 
the federal capital city. And under the state, we have local government. Even under the local government, we have the wards where we have the councillors. So what happened to everybody? So, so the local government chairman is the first citizen of the, of local, the local government. government. And he has his cabinet. Um, from, of, uh, yes, of councillors. Of councillors. So what happened to everybody? Yeah. This is why the issues of Nigeria seem as, uh, as though it is not, I mean, we cannot solve our problems. So our problems are man-made, and the solution is also here. The solution is here, but do we have the intention to solve this problem? Because like Emeka said, if the government, I mean, if the governors are working assiduously and they have taken development to the grassroots, Nobody, who cares whether there's a local government chairman or whatever. The bottom line is, I'm fine. So when people are not fine, then they begin to look at the leaders. Now, we talk, you know, um, recently, we went to the market, a particular market for food items, especially tomatoes and all of that, a basket that ordinarily you would have paid maybe maximum 20,000 naira. Mm went as high as 150,000. So where do you get the money to fill in that gap? So all of, all of these things, and then how many people are into farming again? Mm. We're talking about security. Will Mr. President from the center begin to travel down, take care of security in the grassroots? If that we, is from Abuja to say Bakasi. You understand? Or to my local... Exactly. My so we have to make sure that every tier of government functions mm. to the world level. So you're on the same page with Governor Abdul Razak Okwara? Let it work. Like Imika said, the case is where it is. Yeah. So we don't want to double into that. We don't want to... You know, Otherwise, basic question would be, who is against local government autonomy? Well, the thing is that is the constitution. Because the constitution brings them into, has brought them into existence, that there mm -hmm. shall be local government. Yeah, the, 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 the governor, Abdul Razak, says it will reduce burden on states. Uh, I agree with yes, him. Yes, he's speaking like a politician. But you should look at that provision of the constitution. What does it say? He says it shall be under the state. It doesn't matter whether they're autonomous or whether local governments are actually under the federal government, it doesn't matter. What matters is that the people feel the, feel the presence of government at the local level. That is why, you see, uh, uh, President Muhammad Bari tried through executive orders, but the governor yeah. did not lie. Then he came again through constitutional amendment. What do we need? It's very simple. Me, me, they are me, hiding me, behind me, the fact that, you yes. Ask, do we really know what we want? We know, what we, we know, but you see, the attraction of free money, easy money, is a major problem. The point is this. Why did the federal government go to the Supreme Court? That local governments are getting, you know, have been allocated such huge sums of money. But everybody, if the president travels anywhere, they'll tell you, ah, they bring power. <laughs> but there's a local government here, now look at their location. What is going on, you know? Anybody will ask that, wait a minute, what is going on? So, there is no time for accountability. And what the argument that, you know, the, the, the argument is, the subsidiary argument is that local governments are not federating units. They are not subnationals. Fine, because you put them other states. Maybe that's but, why many states have not held their local government elections. Yeah, they don't care. They don't care. Because why? All just that line that the local government shall be under the states has just made the governors just to relax. But you see, where they get it wrong is that all politics is local. Like the president was saying when some Arawa leaders visited him, he said, "When we need votes, we go to the local areas. We we'll take uh, we we'll take boats, take canoes, go to remote areas. But when we win elections, everybody troops to Abuja." These are feeding bottle democracy. <laughs> I think it is part of why we are talking of fiscal federalism, restructuring, such that, you see, this idea of every month go and collect a check and then come back and do what you like with it. We need to really look at that fiscal federalism so that we can work out things, not just at the wards. We should also have the CDCs. The CDCs should, be also, should also be community yes. development councils. Yes. The CDAs, community development 
as it should. should also be a part of the running of this so that because when you go to when you go to local areas, there is no light. Health centers in all those local areas are in a mess. But, uh, remember, I, I hope I, I won't be too old for for both of you. Uh, even even about I remember in years of your Nigeria of your there was indeed a, a beautiful country. There was. It was. It was very beautiful. At the local government, Emeka, you remember, we had dispensaries. We had this, but there was also power supply. But today, to where, even where, get where to primary even, health problems are taken care of. To even get milk, as in the report, to even get milk, for people to afford milk for their sick relatives in those health centers in rural areas is difficult. Yeah. So you can imagine the mortality rate. Then there's something we are missing. For me, I, I feel that, um, like you said, accountability is very important. Mm. Because if you go to some local government areas, you begin to ask yourself, okay, or if, if you go to a local government council, you see the level of, you know, improvement, and you go to some other ones, they are the way they were 10, 20 years ago, and you ask yourself, so what are you doing? What is your governor doing differently than this other governor? Because at, at the local government level, you are the one that would go to the marketplaces and, and, and collect trading license fees. You collect motor park dues, yeah. motor park, all those taxes. Shop extension. Yes. They won't collect, after collecting money yes. for shops, so, they collect shop yes. extension. You know? Everything. You will, on one property, the go, state government will collect land use charge, and the local government will still come and collect and tenement rates. Yes. But nothing by the way. And, and you know, you have forgotten something like radio licenses. If we all of this, it's all look, you know the federal government. government. How many taxes does the federal government collect? Maybe mm -hmm. about seven or so. How many does uh, the, the the states collect? But the local government have the highest number of taxes and levies. Mm -hmm. Why? To make sure that development really touches the grassroots. Mm -hmm. Well, who cares about uh, IGR? Who cares? As long as there's money come from Abuja at the end of the month, you share it, pay salaries, you know, and pockets. And, and you hear, so, as so, uh, so Ibn Abba was going to say, citizen. Uh, it, it is on payday, uh. on payday, a typical payday that you will see a complement of staff <laughs> at the local government level. Yeah, I, I, went, I went to one local government somewhere, uh, you know, outside Lagos. I was so angry. I was shot at it. I said, is it that you people cannot afford to hire a laborer to clean your premises? Thank you. It's so bushy. Local government sector, how much will it cost you to pay a laborer to clean up this place? Or to even put a gardener on your payroll to keep the secretariat clean? Because when somebody comes into a sector, it begins from the gate. It looks at the gatehouse, looks at the personnel, looks at the ambience and all that. But you get into the offices... You see broken tables, broken mm -hmm. chairs, and all mm -hmm. of this. Mm -hmm. How do you expect effective administration yeah. at low government level? Then the governors will put their cronies. Some people who are not even educated, who don't even know they are left from their right, in charge of local government that should even be the most important fair of government because that is where the people know. So I believe, I hope that all these efforts being made, whether it's local government, autonomy, or whatever, will bring better accountability to the local government level. And yeah. development. Development, yes. As I always say, mm. uh, our business here, gentlemen, is to mold opinion and allow decision makers to take advantage. Mm. Um, as he uh, as said earlier on, uh, Ibinabo, we expect the apex court to do justice, justice. Yeah, hope over the matter. They should. And our politicians will implement the decision reached. No, no. If if it is law, they will. Uh, there are there are there are there children are, that are around it. Uh, there are just yes. <laughs> of Nigerian politicians are ingenious. They will find a way around it. But the thing is, they should know. If we do the right things, our country will be better. Mm. If we fail to do the right things, we will just continue to wallow in poverty. All right. I uh, hear we must leave it there. So let the debate continue wherever it might be. Autonomy for local government across the country.